Hello and welcome, it's Uvish. Oh, uh, we are here today on GTA 5 with some more racing. Uh, yes, we have got one of the new cars, but we've also we're starting off with a much more sensible race. We have the Jugular and we have the Paragon. Uh, now, the track is based on a real world circuit. I'll tell you at the end of it, see if you can guess before that. Oh, they've had a gap to fall down. Oh, I went to try and push Aaron down there, but uh, fell down on his own. <laughs> That's one way to start a race, one of everyone falling down. Uh, yeah, try and guess the track, see if you can figure out what real-world circuit uh, this is This is based on. Brazen's gone for an interesting start. Oh! I mean, I think Blitzkin's technically jumped the start, but he's reversing. So... <laughs> there is... there is that. We're on the outside of Stind. I mean... Ah, uh, you know, that's fair enough, I guess. Uh, we are off and underway with the lead. Oh, we have the lead of the race briefly, and Pekka's going to try and take it back. Oh, Liam's on the outside. Team Orange is in the middle. Uh, that's scary. You don't normally go four wide through that corner. No, it doesn't, doesn't work. Uh, we're going to be... Oh, we're get a really big twitch in front of everybody. We're still crashing. We're okay. <laughs> I mean, I was just watching the front wheels on the car there. And because we kept getting bumped at the rear, GTA kept trying to decide what way the collision was going, and it got pinged around no end, but we got away with it all. Oh, God. So to get slipstream mid-corner, and that's not what you want. Well, okay, we're going to boot the purple car forward a bit. We have fallen back in all of this. I mean, there's only one car. Oh, it's uh, Aaron. <laughs> so we've not had a great start to this one. But there are plenty of laps to go. Plenty of time to go here. For us to work our way forward. Uh, we're all the way to the pit wall. In fact, that might actually work out for us. We do a sneaky little bit of curb boosting. There's no slipstream for us over there, though. Uh, we are back to the middle at turn one, and we have been booped one. We've just been involved in everyone else's crash in this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean, the pack is still very bunched up. This is quite a fast circuit, uh, it is safe to say, and. Yeah, everyone has stayed relatively bunched up. Stinty, yeah, I guess I had an incident was waiting for somebody. Uh, there is no breakaway at all going on. So it is, it's the entire 15... Well, actually, 17 cars in this. Uh, but I mean, I'm in 15th and I'm basically in the group. Stinty's here as well, so... But the entire... Oh, didn't realise... I thought I just assumed Stinty had gone to the inside. I do apologise, that's my bad on that. I just was working on the basis that... Oh, God, this is a very big crash. That you would go to the inside when we were already kind of quite to the yeah, air. There wasn't much space to go to the outside, but there we go. It serves me right for not checking, I guess. Uh, this is dangerous, to say the least. <laughs> it's just the speed and proximity of everything. I presume there might be stop sticks out there that they found and I somehow didn't, but yeah, it's just the speed and proximity. There's so, so many cars jostling for position here at quite high speeds. Everyone's got slipstream going on, everything like that, and... All it takes is one car to get a tiniest little tag and it spins, and then it spins in front of the pack because there's so many vehicles around to be collected by it. Everyone's... I mean, here, we're going to make it six wide as we go to the inside. In fact, the inside is the safest place to be. <laughs> it's not necessarily the fastest line through a corner, but it is safe. And in this race, thank you for the bump. Uh, that's actually very, very helpful. In fact, it's helpful for Danger Man as well, who bumped us forward. I mean, that is the ideal bump draft. You bump the car forward and then actually help yourself almost as much in that, if not more. That's that's how you that's, say how it should be done. But uh, yeah, that's, that was successful. We're going to go to the inside again. You know what? I'm just going to we're just going to hug the inside. We are now oh we're about seven wide down towards the final corner. This can only end in one way, and that way is a very big crash. Just hopefully it's not me that's uh, affected worse by it. Uh, we're going to try and stick it out side by side with Liam. Oh, well, we do. Chris decided he <laughs> wanted to join in that. Stevie gives us a push. I have a feeling, judging by the way this kind of racing is going, that this is... Jesus, this is Stevie's upside down. Oh, Liam's in the back door of our car. This is basically almost full-on NASCAR pack racing we've got happening here, only with a lot more crashes, because GTA collision physics are not designed for that style of racing. Um, 
there's gonna I think it, the, the victory may well it's either gonna be decided by some teamwork or somebody quite a lot further back is gonna have a crazy good run somewhere and pass everybody much as I did there with some uh, curious use of track limits shall we say <laughs> <laughs> That's, we're going to use that rather than corner cutting slash ignoring the track entirely. A curious use of track limits. Um, but yeah, got the, the, the final lap is going to be manic. Because at the moment now, there's so much slipstream and the pack's so crowded that you've got more than enough time to recover. Hell, Impega was flipping around upside down last lap or spun and up, yeah, all sorts of trouble. I think it would maybe be hyper. Might have been Stevie that's upside down. Regardless, yeah, there's there's always chances to recover at this stage. But the final lap that's run out of the final corner is going to be really manic. I mean, oh, that's the... <laughs> that's what I mean by that. As cars are moving around and so on, you find a gap and you kind of aim for it. You just hope that the car knows you're there. Oh, okay. We've got to be careful. See, I assume the jugulars were better at pushing. They are better than some cars, but they're not... You'll still get issues unless you hit dead on. Oh, that was interesting. <laughs> it's, just, it's more amusement than anything. Oh, <laughs> you would just turn. Was it you or was it Aaron? Someone turned up in shot backwards. I just saw the winger. They spun around and carried on. I presume Aaron doesn't by the fact how far they've fallen back, but still. Um, Oh, well, that's not a place you want to go up the inside. So overtaking here is difficult because there's not actually a huge amount of braking that goes on. And that means it's really slipstream or you're committing at a very high speed corner. You've got to hope the other car knows that you're committing to that. Uh, we know Ewan is going to be alongside. We know Ewan is to the inside here. We will lift and let him... Well, we'll let him take the initial part of the corner. Oh, wait. Stop sticks going to get me. I realised when I turned into that corner where I was going to end up. The only thing is with something like that is I know I've, I've got trouble and I can't stop it. I knew when I turned into the first part of the corner I was going to be in trouble for the second part. I just didn't have the grip slash brain power almost to rectify that one in time. We just already committed to the corner. Oh dear, we're in 13th. I mean, we've been, we've led, we've been 13th. This is upside down. I don't know where Angus was going. I don't think, realise I was alongside. Oh, and we've been involved in everyone else's crash again. I, I feel like our chances are slipping away. I mean, there is always a chance. We've still got another, we've got the rest of this lap and one more lap to go after this. There's probably going to be bumps and shunts up ahead. Let's face it, that's quite likely. Um, it, is, it is quite... Oh dear, quite likely to be more antics going on. Here we go. So we got a good draft down here. In fact, we can maybe time this one here perfectly. I'm really glad there was no car because <laughs> we've got a crazy run down the back straight. And yeah, that was uh, a bit risky. We've got a crazy run off the final quarter as well. We've had an absolutely mega end to this lap. It started off awfully, but that was a wonderful end because we're up to sixth now. And, oh, Blakey is across the nose of the pack. He's out wide. Don't end up in the back of Brazen's car. We very, I mean, if I kept my foot down, we would have done I would have stayed on the track, but I would have taken the space where the yellow car was. Oh, this is the final lap now, so there's no real chance to uh, rectify from mistakes here. You've got to be in the right place by the end of the race if we're going to win this one. I don't know where that right place is. Oh, no, we're not going to be in the right place because the crash has murdered us has taken us out, and that was Lado and Ewan, I think, against other people's crash. Other people's crash, I'm minding my own business. Leaves <laughs> Leaves car wanted some style points. Apparently there's a bumpy bit of terrain there. Anybody know about Lado? Lado made this track. Lado, did you know about that? There's a bumpy bit of terrain. Liam found it. Um, oh, we've got a lot of speed through there. We can't do a crazy slingshot down the back straight, unfortunately, this time around. Oh, dear. Uh, yeah, perfectly innocently minding my own business, and big crash between Ewan and Lado ended up uh, removing both of them from the sort of track position and murdering me. We've got a great run. Oh, I don't think uh, is Stinty. I don't think Stinty crossed the finish line. That was an iffy rejoin. I don't know what position I've ended up in after all of that game. I think I'm about tenth. I'm curious whether I beat Stinty. Something happened up ahead. That was scruffy shall we say. Um, came ninth. I don't know whether I was overtaking Stinty and whoever else was involved. I found a gap. I shot for the gap and we made it through. 
Obviously, some tangling went on towards the finish line. Yeah, that was mayhem. There's no other word for it other than just complete mayhem. I actually wanted to have a look at the, a longer look at the leaderboard. Yes, in Pega got victory. Well done, in Pega. Um, no, so Stinty had finished. That was the AI that was derping around on the finish line. I don't know if I'd hit it, whether it would have had any effect. No idea. Uh, I mean, it's ninth, as I said. I couldn't really do anything on that final lap. We were in the right place. We got to where we wanted to be. Other crashes uh, that I could do nothing about. Couldn't avoid. Now, we have a new vehicle. This is the Weevil. It is it's a Volkswagen Beetle, basically. And we're going to do the Beetle Fun Cup around here that may or may not end disastrously for us. We saw how the first race went. Uh, <laughs> sad, I say sadly. It was spectacular. I, I'm not sure that's what we were going for, but it was. This race, oh, okay. Beetles don't push. They don't push each other because they climb. These are climbing cars. Uh, what was there? It was one of the trucks that did that as well. If you tried to bump draft with it, it just climbed the rear bumper of the vehicle that you were pushing. Um, these look like to be similar. Now, hopefully, these are much, much slower, which should mean that trying... Oh, although they're much slower, things have gone very badly wrong for me. <laughs> Again... I was a perfectly innocent bystander in that one. That wiped out four cars. It was Chris carrying a million miles an hour up the inside and never going to make a corner. That was a problem. <laughs> on that one, Team Orange got murdered in one fell swoop. Ah, oh dear. Again, I'd rather it happen on lap one rather than, you know, lap five? I think it's five lap race we've got here. Uh, I was going to say, these are well, in the middle of the say, these are much slower and they should be easier to manage. They should be better for close wheel-to-wheel -wheel racing because, well... You're not going at such crazy speed. You're not quite such a crazy change of direction. You should be able to know more of what's going on. Although there is still the matter of you get crazy difference in speed. And this is the curse of the slipstream. We keep the slipstream to catch up on to make exciting races. Otherwise, well, quite a lot of the time you just drive around in no man's land. But you can end up with that. But some vehicles have crazy differences in speed. We saw it with the Outlaw. The Outlaw is a little bit different with the straight line race. But uh, yeah, sometimes that crazy difference in speed can be a real problem. Everyone's fallen over each other on the final corner. The Beetle Fun Cup shall... I mean, we've actually ended out the first lap in fourth, which isn't the worst thing in the world, considering. But there we go. It's side by side for the lead. I've got no slipstream here uh, with Danger Man. Lado is going to go past on the inside. Can we cut back underneath? That's what we're going to try. We gave Lado a little bump mid-corner. Uh, didn't. Thankfully, that one they didn't do it. That, that bump was a safe bump. I didn't do anything. Oh, and Pekka's trying to get alongside here. This has got a lot of speed actually helped me in that one. That was a helpful bump draft. Uh, we're going to jump over the curbs. You see, we're going to get a lot of speed. Oh, no. Not again at the same corner. <laughs> uh, see, we committed to the inside, and then someone... Uh, i got to wonder why cars are coming into the inside on that corner from so far back. I, it might be a case of cars carrying a lot of speed in slipstream and just not, just not able to slow down. We can give benefit of the doubt in that regard to an extent, but you, yeah, I mean, I was questioning whether I should commit to the inside and I was A, a lot closer and there wasn't already cars too wide ahead of me. Blakey has tried to climb over the back of somebody and lost all momentum in that, surprisingly didn't fall over. Uh, we're to the outside of the pink machine. Can I get in the draft of Longbow here. I'm hoping so. Nope. Uh, Brazen though will... Brazen's doing that lovely slingshot thing that I had last uh, race. Oh, we are to the inside of the yellow machine. There's a spin going on. We'll just lift a big quarter a little bit. Thankfully Longbow didn't end up in the back of us and we can sort ourselves out and we are away from all of that relatively safely. Okay, cool. We're Ended the lap in around 5th or 6th place. Okay, if we drop a little bit because everyone's switched streams, but that's fine. We're up with the lead pack now, basically. So it's only taken us 3 quarters of a lap to catch back up to the lead group after getting unceremoniously dumped off the circuit. Oh, Brazen is to that uh, inside. We're all okay. I got <laughs> would love to have a rearview mirror. Just at the top of the screen for these. It'd make life so much easier, knowing where runs were coming from and everything. This time we've made it around crashy corner. Um, oh, no. Let's just have a lift through all of that. Um, I might as well. There's no, at this point in the race, A, there's no reason to go for that very risky run. 
you are likely to end up in a crash because, well, you saw there I lifted and found a different place to get a big run from. Might as well be patient in this. Uh, we're going to have, as I say, there's going to be somebody bound to get to the inside through there. Uh, okay, they're on to the, I say, kind of back straight. Cars are going to move over with me. Uh, Stevie shoots off to the lead. Oh no, and then it takes away the draft as he goes across. No, Stevie, why would you do such a thing? They've all got a draft on that side. Me and Stinty have stalled out. We've got nothing back here. That's fine. Now we start to pick up a little bit of a draft as they fall wide into the final oh, section. Oh, and we've been straightened up. That's fine. We lost some time, but it could have been worse. <laughs> the three wide in that section was a little... Oh, thank you. Thank you, Longbow. <laughs> That worked, actually. Each lap, we cross the finish line in about the same place. A lot goes on in said lap, but our position across the finish line hasn't really changed much. Oh, I think I might have got into... I think I might have booped somebody down the start finish straight. Oh, okay, there's stop sticks out there. Okay, didn't know about that. Liam is also out rather wide. Okay, long boat, we've got some work to do now. If I do a little bit of curb boosting, do you reckon we can... Slipstream and trade some places. There we go. Uh, we're going to be in a bigger battle than I would have liked. It's quickly becoming a 15-car battle for the lead again. We know how well that went. Aaron's got massive oversteer. How have you managed that? <laughs> Might have been curb-related. I didn't really pay attention. I just saw a beetle suddenly very, very sideways for no discernible reason. Uh, Lombo gives us a push. You can kind of bump draft with these, but you've got to get it absolutely spot on. And if you don't, you'll either... Well, you'll possibly spin the car, but that's normal for a bump drop, but you might climb over it and roll yourself or something stupid. And Pegg is doing a wheelie. That, I presume, was a bump draft attempt that didn't quite work. Uh, we're heading around here now. We've got a lot of speed. What side do you go? We're going to go with Danger Man down here. Danger Man and Brazen. Longbow's gone with us as well. Oh. I mean, we've got a good, kind of a good run here going. Uh, we're going to jink our way up into the top three, kind of. Brazen got tagged by somebody and Almost got into trouble. Uh, oh, we ended up a little bit into the door of you and through there. It's just there's so many vehicles going on. Bumpy leads the way. We will get past that, and then Brace will get past us. We're onto the final lap of the race now. I mean, anything can happen in this one at this point. I think we're starting the lap in third. Who knows where we're going to finish the lap? Oh, that's a little too much understeer through turn one. Not really any advantage gained. I don't think we lost a place in all of that. Chris tried to find... There wasn't really a car's width down there, but... <laughs> Chris made a car's width of space. I'll follow Liam. That's a good shout down there. We should slingshot our way clear as well at this corner. We had so much trouble early on. We're through. Oh, God. <laughs> it's just... They do rather die when the catch-up effects. It's just... Look at that. We're going to drop all the way down to about 10th before we start getting... Oh, now it starts picking up. Now it's Liam's turn to do the same thing, yeah. If you end up out on um, out in front on your own, it just dies. But we're now back into the draft and we've got uh, cars around. This The final chicane is going to be scary. Oh, a little bit of lag, I think, from Angus somehow managing to drive through my car without having an effect on theirs. That's generally how you can tell it's probably a bit of lag. Uh, oh, yep, yeah, that's what we want to see. About eight wide down the... Uh, <laughs> the hangers are going to do just you know what we'll take that I'll enjoy that my hope is I know I'm going to get slipstream my hope is they might crash one another off uh, before we get around here Stevie has a huge oversteer moment oh have I overdriven myself oh I think they've all beansed it I think they might have all beansed it up yes we were in the right place at the right time and that is when track position does matter I wondered whether we might see that my hope I mean, yeah, in theory you wanted to be about second or third coming out of that final corner because of the slipstream, because of the, the, the power of the draft you could get. But when there are eight cars battling for one position, they may well slow each other down enough. We took the big draft down the back straight, got ourselves to the lead, and yeah, they were all just too slow around the final corner. I will take that. We get a victory after a very bad start to the race. Bad sections of the race. <laughs> I'll take a victory. Oh dear. Um, yeah, that's a fast and dangerous track. We had kind of some close racing. We had some big crashes along the way. Um, it was good fun. It was good fun for some wacky racing. But uh, there we go. That is going to be it for this video. Thank you very much, Salado, for building this track. It was a uh, recreation of Donington Park for for those. Well done, those that got it uh, that got it right. Um, 
Yeah, it was the old hairpin that kept claiming cars, I think. But uh, that shall be it from me. Thank you all very much for watching as well. Until next time, uh, goodbye.